Hi everyone and welcome back to the Botanical Witch. Today I wanted to show you how to make an altar jar that you can use to celebrate Yule or the winter solstice. So come sit for a spell and let's get started. Start out by cleansing yourself, your tools, and your sacred space before you begin any spell work. Today I'm using cinnamon to cleanse my sacred space because not only is it very cleansing, protective, and purifying, but it also corresponds with Yule and the winter solstice. You will need a glass bowl or a jar to do this spell. I prefer clear, but use whatever you have on hand. The first step is to pour any type of salt that you have on hand into your jar or your bowl. Not only does this help to purify and cleanse the area, but it also helps to protect the candle from the herbs. You'll also need a tea light candle. I'm using a green pine scented candle. Not only is pine associated with Yule in the winter solstice, but so is the color green. But use whatever you have on hand. I'm adding in evergreen leaves, specifically pine, which is healing and protective. It also corresponds with the winter solstice and Yule. I am also adding in a few mini pine cones, which are associated with eternity and fertility. Not only is orange associated with the holidays, but it's really great for bringing in joy, happiness, and it's associated with the sun, which since the winter solstice is the longest night and darkest night of the year, I wanted to bring in a little bit of warmth and joy to my home. Next, I'm going to add some star anise, and this is really great for protection, purification, and youth. It's also highly associated with the winter solstice and Yule. Apple is associated with love, healing, garden magic, and immortality. It's mostly used on Samhain, however it's also associated with Yule and the winter solstice. Next I'm going to add in some rose hips, and this is really great for any type of autumn or winter magic. It's really great for purification, protection, rebirth, and peace. Cinnamon is a well-known spice that's used around the holidays. It's really great for baking, for bringing warmth and comforting feelings into our home, but it's also really great for success healing, lust, protection, and love. Juniper is also associated with the sun and the element is fire. So I decided to bring this into my home to welcome in the warmth and the light returning. I'm using cloves not only because the aroma itself is just very comforting and inviting, but it's great for protection. I'm using mistletoe for its long tradition of being a symbol of Yule in the winter solstice. It's also great for protection. Lastly, I will be adding a bee leaf with my intentions on it for the new year to come. To help my intention become stronger, I will take the bee leaf and burn it into the candle on the night of the winter solstice. Your altar jar or bowl is now complete for the celebrations of Yule in the winter solstice. Like I said before, light your candle on the night of the winter solstice to welcome in the light and the warmth returning. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Until next time, have a magical day and a blessed Yule.